Hello? Can you hear me? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Hey, no, don't wiggle around so much. It was already hard enough getting you in here. I don't want to have to chase you down again. You're in my house, silly. Don't be stupid. Aw, you don't recognize me? I thought people your age were supposed to be smart. We are in the information age, after all. Here, what if I turn on the lights for you? Oh, now you remember me? Thank goodness. I was worried that phone of yours finally rotted your brain away. You see, that's a funny story. I'll explain everything in due time. You just need to calm down. I said calm down. <gasps> Don't you dare speak to me that way. We may both be adults, but I'm older than you, so you owe me respect. <gasps> Stupid entitled millennial. Do not argue with me. The customer is always right after all. Now, why don't we begin with the story the day we met? I was minding my own business, drowning out the sorrows of my third divorce and with an abundance of wine, when I suddenly got the craving for a burger. So I decided to try out a new restaurant in town. Grill Mark's Place. The food was awful. My burger was undercooked. It had onion on it when I specifically ordered no onion. And worst of all, the minimum wage teenager cashier didn't smile enough. She gave me so much attitude with her, your change is $5.53 talk. <sighs> I just had to give the owner a piece of my mind. But when I asked for the manager, you walked up to me. And I just couldn't stay mad after that. Why do you look so confused? You're the perfect package. You're handsome, you're patient, you know how to suck up to me, and you're much more of a man than my good-for-nothing ex-husband was. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your equitable distribution, you lousy jerk. <laughs> Anyways, from that day on, I knew I had to see you again. Every single day I came back to the Grills Mark's place, and every day I found something new to complain about. Some days it was the fact that I didn't get a military discount even though my first ex-husband was in the army. Some days it was the cashiers wearing their stupid face masks. You made it real easy for me in December, though. With all, with all of your happy holidays messages. It's Merry Christmas, you know. Ugh. I can't believe you never fixed that. But I suppose I can't stay mad at you, my little manager. Your employees started to recognize me and always gave me the best service possible, so it was really hard to find an excuse to talk to you every day. Eventually, I had to get creative. I started bringing in onions to put on my burger, pulling out locks of my hair to put in the food. I even started making my own stinky perfumes to spray everywhere so I could complain about the smell. It was a real hassle, but I'll admit, Seeing your employees stare at me like a deer in headlights made my day every time. <laughs> Besides, I like it when they play hard to get. Hey now, that's an incredibly rude thing to say. Someone ought to teach your generation some manners, I swear. You see, this is what happens when they take Jesus out of education. Kids get entitled, they stop listening to their parents, and they start acting like their own individuals instead of an empty shell I can relive my unfulfilled desired youthful fantasies through. <clears throat> Let's get back on topic, shall we? Day in and day out, we kept up this routine. Even when my brat started complaining. Honestly, they got tired of burgers really quickly. I ended up needing to leave them at school for an extra couple hours just so I could go into the building without them throwing a hissy fit. But it was all worth it. I did this all for you. 
This routine of ours was so fulfilling until one day I came in and asked for the manager only to see a different face walk out. I couldn't believe you got fired. It made me so upset that I chewed out the new manager for a whole hour. Eventually, I scared him into giving me your, contra your contact information. Thank God for that, too, because otherwise we would have had no way to talk again. <sighs> but it still wasn't easy. What little slut you were dating kept blocking every number I called you with. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm talking about that nasty seductress of an ex you were living with. The one that I always saw through your windows. The one exposing her nasty shoulders to the world. Wait. That was your sister? In any case, we don't have to worry about that sleazy whore getting in the way of our love anymore. After taking care of her, I was, a I was finally able to get to you. And now, here we are. What do you mean I got it wrong? So you're saying that you weren't fired? You quit? What? Did you really not want to see me anymore? After all we had been through, is this what you really think of me? <sighs> I suppose that doesn't matter now. All that matters is that you're here with me, and we can see each other every day now. Oh, by the way, I have a surprise for you. That's right, it's your old uniform. I had a hell of a time digging it out of your dumpster, let me tell you. I suppose it can never be easy, though. That's one thing you haven't come up with my ex-husband. Ugh, bullheaded lowlife always kept pushing back on my demands like a scumbag. But now we can spend every day together, just like we used to. Me as your valued customer, and you as my perfect little manager I get to chastise. Isn't that fantastic? The horrors of late-stage capitalism all day every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> if that's who I think it is, I swear to God. Hello? Oh, Carol, it's you again. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick up the brats in a minute. Just be patient, will you? God, your generation is so disrespectful. What do you mean you're not at a daycare? You're, you're at a school. You're at a school, aren't you? What's the difference? Quit your yapping. I'll be there soon. Ugh. What else do you want to waste my valuable time with? I told you my kids did get the required vaccinations. No, they didn't. I just ate the school to believe that. Gotta protect my little angels, after all. <laughs> Listen, if they say they didn't, that's just because public education is brainwashing them into getting to wanting more vaccinations. I'm telling you, these vaccinations are like a virus. Once one person gets one, everybody is infected. All the stupid shedding is making my poor baby sick. This is all your fault. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be acting out so much if you stopped giving them so many participation trophies, now would they? I'll let you know, I am having a very strongly worded discussion with the principal after this call. So you better be ready to lose your job, alright? <gasps> Language! Do not speak that way in front of my kids. You're poisoning their innocent minds. We will continue this conversation later. Goodbye. <sighs> As you clearly heard, I need to pick up my financial burdens from school. Apparently leaving them there for five hours after dismissal is... Unacceptable, or oh, whatever. Don't worry, though. I'll be back soon. From there, we can have lots of fun together. Don't go anywhere, my little manager. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs>